All right. So I'm a car guy, right? And my best friend, I'm not going to name names right now. He's picking up a car. <laughs> he's, he's what I thought in the middle of purchasing a car. He's like, come on. I'll let you go see it with me. I'm like, cool. All right. It's an older Camaro. We go to the person's, uh, we, we go to the person's yard that was in. We get in the car. He's got the keys. And he rips, rips it right out. Just starts driving it. I'm like, um, blank. I go, does this guy know you're going to do this? He's like, oh, he's left it there. He's like, I take it out anytime. I'm like, so he knows that you're driving it. Your insurance. He's like, insurance. And he's like, insurance. No, it's, you know, whatever, Kevin. Just whatever. Watch what this can do. Man, when he shifts it and shit. And <laughs> he's driving it like he stole it, right? Absolutely stole it. I'm like, um, friend. I'm like, does he know you are driving this car? You're going to buy it? Oh, my dad's talking to him about it. My dad's talking to him about it. We're going to get this car. We're going to get this car. I'm like, we're going to get this car is separate from having insurance on a car that we're getting and driving. I'm like, you do realize you didn't tell him. So this is like Grand Theft Auto. He's like, oh, you're looking too much into it. You're looking too much into it. Let's just enjoy the ride. Enjoy the ride. It's like, ah, ah, ah. He's just mashing on it and killing it. And he always wanted an IROC, uh, an IROC 5.7. And I always wanted a Mustang GT. I did get my Mustang GT. Um, he never got his IROC 5.7, but he's a, he's a great guy. And so I go back, and my dad's like, so where would you go after school? And I'm like, ah, oh, Neil decided to steal a car. Oh, sorry. We didn't steal the car. We borrowed the car because that's a car he's going to buy, maybe, possibly. And my dad's like, what? I'm like, you heard me right. We pull up this guy's lot. We take the car that's on there. We leave our car and we burn. We burn rubber for about two hours. Then we come back and we park the car. And it's like, where are you fucking, where are your friends from? I'm like, I have no idea, but it was fun. <laughs> we used to go downtown Toledo. And this is before everybody would shoot you and everything for any, any kind of like misunderstanding. <laughs> Someone would be riding our ass, and he just slam on the the he slam on the emergency brake. <laughs> he just like burn rubber. They slam on the emergency brake. They burn rubber. Slam the emergency brake. I'm like, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. My dad's like, you never know what those guys could be up to. And I'm like, I know, I know. And I used to, I used to be my a brake rider too. I used to, not anymore, of course, not anymore, not anymore. Um, real quick story about that. I had a manager in Aurora, Illinois. And he was working as FOS, Freight Operations Supervisor, and he was in the middle of, like, intersection traffic in bad part of Chicago, right? So he, like, gets on the horn, gets on the horn, gets on the horn, gets on the horn. The guy just loads his shotgun, and he just, like, breaks it back. He's like, nope, you're fine. You're fine. Go right ahead. I'm sorry. I am sorry. Not my, not my, I'm sorry. Not my fault. You go ahead. He's like, learn real quick, you don't do that shit in Chicago. They'll fuck you up. <laughs> Alright, so that's my uh, uh, committing a, uh, I don't know. I would say some say felony, others say uh, sales drive. <laughs> Peace out.